Here at Home Assurance, we often get asked for temperature control devices, and many a time I've talked to a customer who's wanted to heat above normal temperatures. For example, our standard Honeywell domestic thermostats top out around, 20, uh, around 30 degrees for the very good reason that human beings uh, don't survive long above that temperature. So no matter how many extra heaters you add, um, you will never get to a set point higher than about 30. I've had customers trying to do honey rooms up at 45 and it, it just won't work. So one very excellent product that we carry in stock is the Dwyer TSW range of temperature controllers. It's basically a turnkey solution in that you have a uh, waterproof or weatherproof box, a temperature sensor, and it simply uh, works straight from there. Um, it displays the current temperature and pressing the set point it will display what temperature you have set to. At the moment I have this set up for cooling so and I have the set point at 29. So if I take a hold of the sensor and warm it up, once we get to uh, over 29 you should hear a click as a relay uh, turn, would turn on the cooling and on the screen you will see a little uh, frost symbol come up to indicate that uh, it is uh, cooling. So we're at 29. I am a cold-hearted so-and-so, so just give it a moment or three. 28, 29, and momentarily. Now we can program in a differential too so that it doesn't turn, it doesn't circle around that 29 degree on off, on off, on off. So there is what they call hysteresis or differential you can program in. And shortly we'll see, there we go. Uh, you may have heard a relay and you can see the frost symbol appear, which indicates that if this was hooked up to a cooling system, it would be starting the cooling. Now the box itself is weatherproof. Let's define that slightly. It is IP66 or NEMA 4X. Basically that means that uh, IP66 talks about high pressure water being sprayed at it with no damage. NEMA 4X is very similar, but it adds the ability to deal with corrosive atmospheres. Uh, so it's very, very genuinely uh, weatherproof, which you can mount outside. It has a number of good security features. One can lock out the set point adjustment or any of the parameter adjustments, but there is also the ability to hardware uh, set a set the ability to not make any changes. So this jumper here, when it's set in the current position, um, you can make changes to parameters. When it's shorted across those pins, you cannot make changes to the parameters. So it's, it's an extra safety feature there. We can see that we have terminals with screw adjustments. Uh, here we have the temperature probe coming into it. This is either a NTC, a negative temperature coefficient, or a PTC, positive temperature uh, coefficient temperature sensor. And here we have power supply. This particular model is a 12 to 24 volt AC or DC model. But of course, there's also versions that are 230 volt. Uh, well, in fact, they cover between 90 and 250 volts. So it will cover both American and New Zealand power supplies. On board is a good quality Panasonic relay. The relay is rated at 20 amps into a resistive load, so you can switch some pretty high currents um, with, with this device uh, very happily, certainly more than the, um, the 2500 watts that's available from a standard New Zealand PowerPoint. Uh, as I say, you could passcode protect it software-wise as well. Temperature range, this will cover from minus 50 to, uh, to plus 150, so it covers obviously a much, much higher range uh, than any of the, the standard thermostats. Very reasonably priced. It's the TSW150, which is a one-stage unit, or the TSW250 or 260, which is a two-stage unit. Thank you.